Hello everyone, I am Nivedita Jaina from Amrika Prasad Research Foundation. Welcome to all of you to our channel, Biodiversity and Conservation. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the 10 medicinal, ethno-medicinal plants of Lankanar, Odisha. So let's start. So the first one is Aegle Marmelis, um, which is commonly known as Bella or Stone Apple or Old Apple in English. It is a species of tree native to the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. It is belong to Rutesi family. It is present in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka and Nepal as a naturalized species. The tree is considered to be sacred by Hindus and Buddhists. Ethnomedicinally, uh, the leaf powder is taken orally in empty stomach daily morning to reduce gastrointestinal disorders. In next, Bacopa moniri, which is a perennial tripping herb native to the wetlands of southern and eastern India, Australia, Europe, Africa, Asia, and North and South America. Uh, it is known as uh, by the common name water hyssop, water hyssop brahmi, and uh, Indian pennywort. Ethnomedicinally, the whole plant is used to make a tonic. For the improvement of mental health or memory, it is used as a tonic for memory enhancer. In next, Eclipta prostrata belongs to Asterasi family. Uh, the local name is Bringaraj. It is a species uh, widespread uh, across much of the world. And the plant has cylindrical grace roots, solid circular purple uh, stems with white fine hairs and the leaves are arranged in opposite pairs, hairy in two-sided, lanceolate. And the solitary flower heads are about 6 to 8 mm in diameter with white florets. Ethnomedicinally, the whole plant is used to prepare oil for reducing hair problems. In next, Nectanthus arbotristis. Um, it is a species of Nectanthus native to South Asia and Southeast Asia. It is commonly known as night blooming jasmine, tree of sadness, and uh, Ganga Siuli, and belongs to Oleacea family. Ethnomedicinally, uh, the leaves of this plant is um, the leaf juice is taken orally in empty stone to cure fever. Then Oxymum tenuflorum 
um, it is commonly known as holy basil or tulasi belongs to limaceae family um, it is widely cultivated throughout the southeast asian tropics it is native to tropical and subtropical regions of asia australia and the western pacific the plant has escaped from cultivation and has naturalized in many tropical regions of the americas uh, it is an agricultural and environmental weed and ethnomedicinally uh, the leaf juice uh, with ginger and black pepper powder is taken orally in empty stomach to cure cold and cough then piper longum um, it is sometimes called indian long paper or pipali uh, belongs to piperaceae family um, cultivated for its fruit which is usually dried and used as a spice and seasoning uh, long paper has a taste similar to but sweeter and less pungent than that of its close relative piper nigrum from which black green and white paper are obtained and ethnomedicinally the dried fruit powder is taken orally to cure cold and cough in next phyllanthus emblica uh, which is also known as aula um, belongs to phyllanthaceae family its native range is tropical and southern asia um in the buddhist tradition there are many references to the fruit of the emblic myrobala in the buddha's knowledge is described in a poetic simile o bhagavan the entire origination of all types of phenomena throughout time is within the range of your mind like an ambalan fruit in the palm of your hand and hapan amla fruit was the final gift to the buddhist sangha by the great indian emperor asoka uh, this is illustrated in the asoka vandana in the following verses and uh, ethnomedicinally um, the dried fruit powder of 1 tablespoon is taken orally to cure cold cough and also reduce hair problems in next saraka asoka um it is commonly known as asoka tree is a plant belonging to the um fabaceae family and uh, it is an important tree in the cultural traditions of the indian subcontinent and adjacent areas um the flower of asoka tree is the state flower of indian state of odisha and ethnomedicinally um the bark decoction is uh, consume um orally for menstrual disorders then terminalia bellurica which is also known as bahada and in sanskrit um, it is known as bibhitak which is a large deciduous tree in the cambretaceae family it is common on the plains and lower hills in south and southeast asia where it is also grown as an avenue tree and uh, ethnomedicinally the fruit uh, is used in triphala and uh, this triphala powder is used to cure different type of stomach problems then the last one is terminalia jebula which is also known as um harida and uh, black or jebulic myrobella which is a species of terminalia um, belongs to cambretaceae family native to south asia from pakistan india and nepal east to south west china and south to sri lanka malaysia and vietnam ethnomedicinally uh, this uh, the fruit of this plant is used in triphala and uh, this uh, fruit powder um, is also used to cure stomach disorders thank you